we've made it to the, the snow drift. This is where we got stopped in the Jeeps. So, pretty sweet. But it's the snow's hard enough, like what we've been on, that we can just uh, stay kind of on top. We try that dude. That's how it's done. Well, it won't ride up it easy. <laughs> That's fun, so I guess we'll continue on. These guys are gonna come up on their four wheelers. This is a big, <laughs> this is a big, big drift. I don't know if you can see how big it is on video. It always kind of flattens things out. Anyway. That's a first one, the red one. That's a Polaris uh, 1000, piles of power. And then the second one's an 850, but it's amazing. They don't feel that much different in power, but uh, they're fun to play in the snow. How you doing, Gussie? So this is a pretty crazy creek area. Side by side will do it easy. We'll see how the four wheelers do. So we're getting way back in here. It looks like there's been a snow cap back in here. They're probably coming over from the top, checking out how much moisture and precipitation we have back up in here. But it's been in here a lot. Most of the way to the top, we're not quite to the top, but there's a lot less snow than there was a, <laughs> a couple months ago. But anyway, uh, we are definitely having a lot of, a lot of fun. So. so this is something we've done for a long time, years, years, like probably the end of the 90s, early 2000s, is we've had four of those forever. And me and I, a couple of my brothers, two or three of my brothers would come up here and we'd come clear the tops of these. Nobody would come back up in here, but we'd air our tires down and we'd figure out how to step on top and we'd come clear, clear back in here. So this is fun. Um, these machines have way more horsepower than the ones you know, we had back then. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's a good time. Uh, I remember last year, I have a, or not last year, back then, I have a 
picture of my brother sitting on a fence post that's sticking out of the ground about two feet with our four-wheelers there. <laughs> so we, it, this is fun. Kind of got up here on the top, kind of lost where the road's going, trying to figure that out. Uh, we can pretty much go anywhere, but four-wheelers kind of have to stay kind of where people have been or they're getting stuck. In fact, we got one stuck right now. Well, I kind of buried it. As you can see, I'm gonna have to go winch it out because I am stuck. It's that bad. Kind of spoke down in and it just buried. It's it buried. So winch it out. It's gonna be rad. Well, we're uh, winching this one out. It's really stuck. We had uh, been a fun time. We got as far as we go with the four wheelers. So uh, I think we're gonna call it and head back down. I've been really impressed with this side-by-side -side tracks. We, we were in this area earlier this year and it was, it was a lot deeper and it was, of course it was more powder. We were leaving pretty good tracks, but it went. We made it all the way up right up into this area. Actually, actually up past this area. And we could have kept going, but we kind of stopped. But uh, I don't know. Gonna have to do some more of this before the snow goes away. I did it. I went right up it. There you go. And then there's the, the side by side. Make it easy, Doug. All right, let's get this thing stuck, guys. Okay, we're pulling this baby out. All right, we got it out. Mm -hmm. 